Jalen Joseph Hands, born February 12, 1999. You your boy JC Stunted Growth. Let's get it. I've had a lot of people request this video. For some reason, people really think Jalen Hands deserved to be on the Stunted Growth screen. Honestly, I don't think so, but here he is. Off top, he's improved his points per game, his assists per game, and he seems to have more freedom and control this season. If I sound biased, it's because I am. I like this guy, man. I liked him a lot leaving high school, but I like him even more for staying in school and getting better instead of forcing a pro career. I think he could have gotten drafted last year, but he knew he wasn't ready and came back to school. I applaud that. So in this video, I want to take it a little different way. I want to talk about three reasons people had such high expectations for him and how he's just not that. Reason number one, the labels put on him. In his senior year in high school, everyone deemed him Baby Westbrook, a name that I never agreed with. It seems people call any point guard that's athletic the next Westbrook or Baby Westbrook. Look, not everyone can be an eight-time NBA All-Star, average a triple-double back-to-back, and play with the intensity we've literally never seen in a point guard ever. And that's the first reason I think Jalen will never be the label of Baby Westbrook people want him to be. Although Jalen has many attributes, intensity is not one of them. Hands played for Foothills Christian his senior year and averaged 29 points, 6 rebounds, and 6 assists a game. He was a beast his senior year and seemed like he could do anything he wanted to. I too thought he was destined to be a one-and-done player. He was a McDonald's All-American and won the slam dunk contest at the Ball is Life All-American game. Reason number two, the matchups versus Colin Sexton. Colin and Hans are both from the 2017 class and matched up a few times in their high school career. Matchups that seem very personal for both guards. Both ranked in the top three of their position, Sexton being number two and Hans number three. People really hyped their matchup and continually compared the two and I think it got to them both. But I never thought Jalen was ever on Sexton's level as a ball player at the time. Anyone was baby Westbrook, it should have been Colin. He plays with a similar motor to Westbrook. Hands is a more relaxed personality and doesn't have the fight that Sexton has. Sexton is a showman who loves the spotlight. I think Hands is a naturally gifted baller that's more chilled and can do without the spotlight. I actually think if Hands was more like Sexton in his demeanor and intensity, he'd be the best point guard and would have been a one and done player. Jalen committed to play for UCLA in 2015 after playing for former UCLA player TJ Leaf's father. His freshman year was sort of disappointing. He averaged just 9 points, 2 assists, and played only 25 minutes a game. He was also very erratic and was benched most of the year, ultimately becoming the sixth man. Now this doesn't sit well with me for some reason. I'm not saying UCLA or Coach Alford wasn't a good fit for him but it seems he didn't get much of a chance that year. He wasn't treated like a star player, and rightfully so. He didn't present the personality to be. But I wish Coach Alford would have stuck with him a bit more and understood his quiet personality. I think UCLA wanted him to be more of a commanding leader, and that's not what Jalen was bringing. Either way, we thought he and Sexton were going to be having much more of these battles on the next level. We'll have to wait and see, but I think this is where most of the hype stems from. Reason number three, seem to fit the billing. Jalen has the perfect size, skill set, and even look that most point guards have in today's game. He just looks the part. He can jump, fast, can handle the ball, and seems to have the personality, in high school at least, of a star player. He even has the haircut most guys have today. But what I think is missing is an aggressive nature. I think Jalen is a quiet kid that grew up in the suburbs of California pretty much had whatever he needed. This gives a kid a really passive nature that doesn't bode well in certain situations. He's missing that dog in him that's just not going to take no for an answer. This much was seen in his freshman year at UCLA. He literally was set up to come in, take over the team Lonzo left behind, and run all the way to a one and done season. That's the skill set he has, and that's the expectations he had placed on him wasn't able to do that and I think it's mostly because he doesn't have what it takes inside to be that as quickly as we thought. At this point he's averaging a solid 13 and 6 and 
that's playing more minutes in the second year. These are solid enough numbers to get you drafted or undrafted. I think he should stay another year and continue to get better. Who knows, maybe with a little maturity, he can develop a real leader's personality and increase his role on the team. One thing I don't want is him to leave early and be undrafted like many young players today because I'm a huge fan and would love to see him in the league one day. He attended the 2018 NBA Combine and didn't have a bad showing. He had some good numbers there, but ultimately decided to return to school, and that was a great decision. Had he left, I think he would have gotten drafted last year, but I think he would have played most of the year in the G League somewhere or, or maybe even overseas. I don't think he was ready mentally as a leader to go in next year, and I'm happy he decided to come back. It's your boy JC, Stunted Growth, and I'm out.